This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Decision 2016 has gone mobile this election season more than ever before. Voters are relying on their mobile devices to learn more about the candidates and political issues before heading out to the polls. Now, the increased usage means that voters have faster, more frequent access to campaign information and candidates must expertly leverage digital tools like social media to interact and engage with the American public to win votes. Now, to learn more on how you can stay up to date, we have Megan Weber from U.S cellular here this morning. How are you doing today? Doing great. So before we talk about the apps and stuff that people can download to stay in tune with the election season, mm -hmm. tell us a little bit more about how popular our mobile devices have become over the years, especially during election season. Oh, it's it's absolutely insane, the growth that we've seen in smartphone utilization. And so, um, you know, we have access to nationwide high speed networks now. And so from 2011 to 2015, we saw almost a a doubling of smartphones. So from, I believe it was 35% to two thirds of wow. customers uh, are now having smartphones. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it really is the go-to when it comes to anything. And especially, you know, for those, I, I mean, I missed the, the debate on Monday because I was on an airplane. The minute <laughs> I landed, the first thing I did was look at my news feed to kind of see what was going on, what happened. So, and I'm sure it was full. <laughs> yes, it was. So we're going to go ahead and talk about some of the apps. And the first one we're going to talk about is the U.S. presidential election app. Tell us a little bit more about how that works. So the app does pretty well what it says. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be able to get in there. It's going to give you some really important dates. So mm -hmm. when does polling open, when absentee polling, and um, when are the, you know, we're past primaries now, mm -hmm. but when were primaries, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of uh, information can you get on the parties and the candidates that are uh, involved? Mm -hmm. So it's going to give you just a really nice um, high level overview mm -hmm. of the election and key information that you need. Fantastic. Now the next one that we're going to talk about is network news apps, but also on a local level too. Absolutely. So KTVO has an amazing app for news, um, weather, sports, all of that there. Mm -hmm. We also know that there are some other network news apps like Fox News, CNN, C-SPAN. So all of those are going to give you, um, at least on the national stage, the national mm -hmm. highlights. Um, and then, of course, KGBO being able to cover our local election mm -hmm. process that's mm -hmm. going to be taking place as well. Mm -hmm. And we actually have a national tab as well on our um, mobile app that if you want to see that yes. as well, you can. So obviously just to click away. And if you haven't downloaded the KTVO mobile app, do it now. It's time. <laughs> and it's, it's time. free. Yeah. All right, the next one, this is a little bit uh, more interesting because you're getting more of a live view with this. We're yes. talking about Periscope and Meerkat. Yes, so okay. so live videos have just really taken off mm -hmm. in the last year. For better or for worse, mm -hmm. we are living in a live age mm -hmm. now. So uh, Periscope is actually something that I've used quite a bit. So what you can do is either when you're in the location, so let's mm -hmm. say you, you visit a campaign rally or you have um, somebody you know stopping by your neck of the woods, mm -hmm. you can Periscope and that live video will go out to viewers across America. Or if you're, uh, you know, you're, you're working, you mm -hmm. can't get out, you can just simply access it. Same thing on Meerkat. Mm -hmm. And you can view other people's live videos um, to be able to stay truly up to date to mm -hmm. the moment mm -hmm. of what's happening. And I know that a lot of, uh, you know, correspondents and reporters out there, when they are covering a national campaign or a stop or a debate, they have these type of uh, apps on their phone where mm -hmm. you can get behind the scene coverage uh, so you don't have to wait for the nightly news or, you know, on the website to find out up to date information. Absolutely. So. And finally, we have register to vote. Yes, so registertovote.org is okay. an amazing website. Um, and so if you go there, it has the registering to vote information basically mm -hmm. for 31 states right now. So Missouri is one of those states. Uh, we know that voter turnout is something that you hear discussed uh, all you know through the campaign mm -hmm. season. And we do live in a country where we're fortunate enough to have the ability to make a choice. Mm -hmm. And so registertovote.org is really simple. You can use it with your friends, family, or yourself. Help mm -hmm. people get registered to vote. Know where their local polling places are. Know when their deadlines are so that they can take advantage of that freedom of choice. All right, fantastic. And of course, you have your uh, events at the store itself if people have any questions or mm -hmm. concerns, not only about this app, but maybe their mobile device or anything exactly. like that. So what we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at ktvo.com. Megan, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. And we'll be right back.